What's up guys, it's Phone Finds episode 88, and listen, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but this binge out has been extreme lately, especially at my local Target, but I have some good news, and that is the binge out has finally ended at my local Target, and I also went to two places I go monthly, a different Target and a, that, an AT&T, and I also went to a Target I've never been to before. I'll explain which phone came from there later, but I have to warn you, it's nothing amazing. So let's get on with it. This is, you know, from worst to best, of course. Here we go, another Samsung dumb phone. This is an SCH A580, I believe. I'm very bad with uh, model numbers with these dumb phones. It's kind of neat looking. It's pretty low end as far as I'm concerned, considering Phone Arena considers it basic, even for its time. Close it, as you can see, has this nice green display. It's a speaker phone real nice and big on it. It does have a pretty high quality speaker. Open it up. This thing works perfectly. It did not come with, actually no, it did come with a battery, but it was terribly bloated, so I took that out immediately. And one of my other some Samsung dumb phones just takes the same battery, so I'm just using that. And yeah, this thing works fine. It's not a very interesting phone. It's old and not even that cool, but what can you do on here? You can play games at least. Oh yeah, the monkey ball. Apparently this is a this was a so-called rare game and one of my phones just so happened to have it. So now it's on more of my phone because you know it's cool. And there's a way to put actually put um, games on these sprint phones finally. So to the developers who do that stuff, thank you. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Ooh. Oh, I made it mad. This is difficult. <laughs> way harder than it looks. Oh, well, playing games makes the battery go low, and it had to stop. Well, yeah, that's all I really have to show with this dumb phone. Next dumb phone I have is a Kyocera Kona. I already have one of these, except it's on, the other one was on Boost. This one's on Sprint, as you might be able to tell by the yellow brain blast. I mean, just animation. And if you open it up, as you can see, it says Sprint real big on it. But that's the only... Oh, wow, this is the loud shadow. I did not do that. Interesting, yeah. There's, like the only real difference between this and the Boost Mobile one is it just says Sprint. Everything else is like exactly the same. So I'm not gonna go into it. What games does it have? No games. That's lame. The kind of gross thing about this is I know this is not supposed to be this like tarred color, and it kind of smells like cigarette smoke. I tried to get out, try to clean this to the best of my ability, so it's at least disinfected. But I cannot get this tar off. I'd probably take take him some extensive cleaning, which I can't do. And now the animation is different. Wow. Now here's a different one. This is a, oh wait, no, I just, found, I just realized that's an SCH, though. that's an SPH. This is an SCH, oh God, I think it's an A630. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Now, if you are a dumb phone connoisseur, you might realize something immediately off with this phone, saying, hang on, this is supposed to say Verizon on it. It doesn't say Verizon anywhere on this thing, and when you open it up, oh, it's not on. I'm gonna turn it on because some people like that. Samsung. No Verizon mention anywhere. How could this be? What is what is the deal with this phone? Well, I'll tell you the deal with this phone is. This is a freaking prototype. And it says sell south, but I, I don't know. There must be just like a prototype for who is supposed to have this phone, but it was never released under this back carrier as far as I'm concerned. And it has, like, no Verizon branding. It's just running, like, a stock, I guess you could say, OS for a dumb phone or for a Samsung dumb phone at the time because all Verizon phones look pretty much exactly the same as the UI. Like, they're, they're not unique at all. And I'm not going to go through every single menu because I'm not that type of YouTuber. What's animation, though? Oh, you can change the startup. That's actually pretty cool. Do you have a choice? It doesn't seem like it. Just Samsung. Okay, yeah, maybe that's a leftover thing from prototype stuff. I don't know. It's a very neat phone, although there's not a whole lot you can do with it. I like this color. It didn't come with a battery originally, just one of my other phones so happened to have the, the battery it needs, but it has to be on the charger all the time because this battery is totally flat. Open it up again. Yeah, like I said, it's a prototype phone, and how do I know that it's a prototype phone? I could just be totally lying, and I promise you I'm not lying, and I'll show the evidence as to why. So it's now flashing orange because I took the battery out, so I must have made it mad. Yeah, it's quite mad. 
And the reason I only know it's a prototype is because... Look at that. Final hardware. And that sticker over it, which... Yeah, this is a prototype phone. And I did not find this up at Target bin, actually. I saw an eBay listing for this. It was only 10 bucks. So I was like, okay, if the prototype is interesting, so I have to buy it. But I'm not a dumb phone connoisseur, so I'm going to do something good. I'm not going to be a gatekeeping weirdo because everybody hates people like those. So I'm going to donate this phone to people who basically research this type of stuff. I'll tr hopefully see if they can get like the all the stuff on it like the software and firmware and all that good stuff like the ringtones and all that extract it off the phone and just poke around with it as much as they want to so i may not own this phone for a while i may like legit donate it We're, we'll see for sure i don't i haven't decided that entirely but i feel as though i don't deserve such a piece of history i mean it's a prototype device that's cool and i'm hoping whatever can be done with it is goes is successful it's neat. I mean, it sure is a very basic phone, but I shouldn't own it right now. That's very cool to me. And the fact it was only $10 makes it even better. But we'll move on to that. It's a very interesting dumb phone. Glad to have it. That's oh, in very good shape, if you didn't notice. Now on to Knott's prototype stuff. Oh, you see the finds already. Oh, no. Don't cheat. This is another one of these Motorola droids. I already have one of these. This came from the, uh, and I should probably specify where everything came from. This came from the Target I visit sometimes. This also came from that same Target. That came. From, this came from that same Target as well. Funny enough, the other one I found of this phone, I it found it at the same exact bin. So I find that interesting. It works fine. I mean, there's nothing I really have to say about it. There's like, wait, what? Manicure? I wonder if that's real. Or if that's just an example thing. Nothing I really have to say about this phone. It's old, and you really can't do much at all with it anymore. It does have these live wallpapers on it, though. Let's set it. Oh yeah, there's a whole list of them. They downloaded a lot of these because they must have really liked live wallpapers. And the crazy thing is, you can still get this live wallpaper. I applied it on my phone just to be funny. It it still works, which is unreal. Let's do Galaxy. Wow. Okay, that might actually just be a default one, but not all of these are default. Like, I don't think this is a default one. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Get out of there. Um, this. That's pretty cool as well. I don't even know if these are all in the freaking Google Play Store still. Oh, that's like if you're playing music. Get out of there. And if you don't know this phone well, well, it's a slider phone. Hooray. I do like slider phones a lot. Oh, I just did something. Yeah, not a whole lot to say because it's old and outdated. Put that away. This phone I got from a Target I've never been to before until today. The bins were like in a actually pretty normal spot to be honest. They were just right near the entrance, but this is the only thing I found in there. And my pictures I took inside the bin because I didn't try opening it. I just didn't think to. Nor that I want to because it's in an area that is, I mean, full of Karens. It's just it's just that type of it's just that part of town if you know what I mean. So I wasn't trying to have some angry fifty-year-old blonde woman telling me I can't do that. And so I didn't want to be there for probably more than five seconds. So I just dug around for a little bit of time, felt this and felt nothing else, and just get the just got the heck out of there. It's an iPhone 4S on Verizon with a ripped off screen. It does show signs of life because if you hook it up to the charger, it buzzes. But sadly, it's fMI on, so it's kind of useless. Oh well. Funny that the it's, that the back is in good shape considering the next phone. This phone is another 4S on Verizon, except it actually works. Only problem is the back is like totally smashed. I got this from my regular Target. This is the thing that has ended the bin drought finally. It's another freaking 4S, even though I, as if I don't have enough of these, but hey, a find is a find. Here's something that'll definitely make someone mad though. This thing was originally running, running iOS 7, some version of iOS 7, I don't know. And it had a passcode on it, so I had to reset it. So yeah, cry about it. I, I don't care. Like I, I do not care about those rare iOS versions. Yeah, it's so rare that you have to price it on eBay like 200 times more than it's normally. No, no, you shouldn't. It, it's stupid. Like, oh my god, guys, there's a single different animation that's so cool. No, it is not. It's not cool at all. Like, I don't care. Like, I understand a little bit, but... I really don't. It's not like you're having a prototype device. That is cool. A single different animation in like iOS. That that's not cool. Like you, the people who just go nuts over that stuff like 
just got to calm down and stop attacking people for resetting their phones rightfully. Because I'd rather be able to use this phone and just have it be passcode locked and something I can't use. Like, oh, that's so cool. No, it is not. So let's just end that debate right there. As you can see, it's on Verizon, like I said. It's just a 16 gig. Now it's running the latest version of iOS, which is kind, kind of sucks because it does make it slower for sure. But now you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, nothing else I have to say about this phone. It's just another 4S to the add to the pile of the many I have. Power button kind of sucks in this phone. Like it, it's sticky and it's hard to press. I don't know why that is. Yeah, you see me struggling. This I actually don't know the model name of. It's a Samsung phone of some sort. I got this from the Target. I, you know, the other Target I go to sometimes. It's all like it reminds me of like the original Galaxy S with how the UI and version of um, it's called. How am I blanking on what they used to call the Samsung UI? It wasn't my touch. It was like TouchWiz. Yeah, that's what it was. It looks like an old version of TouchWiz, like you'd expect to see on the first um, Galaxy phone. Well, tell me the name of the thing. Well, that's the model number, SCHI510. I don't know what that means, but as you can see, it says firmware version 2.3.6. Can I take the thing? Or is it? Is that system? Um, hmm. Guess it's not gonna do it. Do the hold? No. It has these buttons on there, which is kind of cool. How the heck do you get out? Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot I have to say about this thing. I like the whole droid thing that's going on. I can't change the UI or anything on it really because it's just so old. There's no custom launcher, or my custom launcher isn't isn't supported on it. Very Verizon themed. I mean, as you can see. Filled with bloatware, of course, like many Verizon phone at the time was. Yeah, it's old. It's interesting. I've never seen one of these before. It must be kind. It might be kind of uncommon. It's got this decent case on it. I'll take it off there to show what the back looks like, since it's really easy to take off. Yeah, there's these weird spots on it. Can't get off. With Google, shows how old it is, and it's 4G LTE. Probably the first of its kind. That makes me realize how old 4G LTE is, even though. Oh, excuse me. It's like perfectly good to use. Like I don't know. I just I still don't see the point in getting a 5G phone yet. It just it doesn't seem to be there yet. Next up we have this Galaxy S3. I have a bunch of these. This is another Verizon one. Same bin as the last phone. And you'd think this phone is like in great condition because of how like nice the back looks and how the frame looks like untouched. But I'm telling you it's not because for one you really can't be able to see it on camera. I can't use the flash because the battery of my phone's dying. But Someone just took the liberty to just completely destroy the charging port of this phone. Like, the pins are just totally mangled. Someone ripped apart the SIM card reader and the SD card like, reader. So, the phone was probably really well taken care of. And they thought, oh, destroying these things will make it so someone can't use it. I'm using it right now. So, you lose. But, yeah, I don't know why they do that. Like, thinking it'll, like, let your data go. This phone was reset. So, there's, like, no anything I could get off this thing. I digress. At least the screen's in good shape, though. It's not doing that wavy effect on in person. That's just something that's happening on camera. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say about this because the S3 is another phone I found a ton of. It's in good shape. I just wish someone, I just wish the previous nincompoop of an owner didn't do what they did to it. Yeah, it's just running, you know, that Android version. Typical stuff. Put that away. Next up, we have a J3 2017. This I got from the AT&T bin, actually, which I was unfortunately only able to get two things in there because when I went, I was disappointed by how not busy it was, especially for a Saturday and how busy the mall is. And I'm not trying to push my luck with the employees because, sure, they're cool, but I'm not going to to ask, hey, can I poke through the bin? Like, I'm not trying to get kicked out. Like, they like me. I'm trying to keep it that way. Yeah, this one's fine. I mean, it has a screen protector on it, but it's kind of scratched up. The S3 has a screen protector on it as well, because it's perfectly applied and looks good. Yeah, it's a decently fast phone for what it is. I already have one of these, except in white. This one's in like in this blue color. It comes with a real pop socket. It's not a fake one either. I think it says pop socket on it somewhere. Oh, yeah, it does right there. Let me lift it up more, because someone's going to want to see. Uh, the lighting in here is not good enough. But yeah, it's an actual pop socket. Oh, let's see if I can make it do the thing. Oh my god, guys, that's so cool. It actually does help the grip a little bit. I remember when I used to have this on my LG G6. It's kind of nice. Yeah, not a whole lot to say about this phone either. It's just your typical 2017, like, 
mid-range to low-end phone. It does not feel bad to use, though. It does it. Oh, my goodness. I just exposed someone's phone number. Oops. I'm so sorry. I, like, disable that by now. But if there's, like, a weird person watching my video, please don't call them. Like, please, please don't. Like, I'll, I'll hit you if you do that. Yeah, looks like my regular phone, like all my phones do. I don't really have much to say about this thing. It's just not that interesting. Probably the second best find. Now, immediately you might notice, why is the screen coming off this phone? I'll explain that later. This is an iPhone 6. This is the other find from the AT&T bin at that mall that I go to sometimes. The, the cool thing about this phone is, it's FMI off. Thankfully, you might be able to tell by the fact that I'm, you know, using it fine. No. What, what's it running? Let me check. It's probably just, no. Running the latest it can. Yep, iPhone 6. And, yeah, it's just running the latest version of 12 that it can. The reason it looks like this is because the battery is blowing really bad on this phone. And it makes me, it's super, I hate even touching this phone. Because then it's just going to feel like it's going to blow up. Yeah, you can't tell. I don't want to mess up the screen either. And besides the blowing battery, though, which is going to get removed promptly after I'm done recording this video, this thing's in, like, really good shape, which is surprising because iPhone 6s are notorious for being, like, their owners just don't take good care of them. Like, it's just the trope of the iPhone 6 user telling the Galaxy S20 user that they're broke. <laughs> uh, I hate how that still applies. But, yeah, like I said, besides the bad battery, it's fine. I might get a replacement battery for it, but I don't know. At least I have another iPhone 6 that's FMI off those. Those are just hard for me to find, and just kind of hard for people to find in general. I don't know why they're so commonly FMI on. Now, here's the best find. This came from the Target at that mall with the AT&T I go to sometimes. This is a Galaxy S5 on Verizon. The cracks are actually just on the screen protector. They're, like, I can feel them all. So if I were to take it off, they'd probably not be cracked. Yeah, this thing works fine, just like my other S5, except this one's white. My other one, no, get out of there. My other one's blue or black. I really can't remember. I can't even keep track of the phones I have. Suffering from success. Yeah, I like this phone. The S5 is still a really nice device to use, in my opinion. It's fast, it's smooth, and it's, a, it's kind of a shame it's on Verizon, because if it wasn't, the customer almost support would be godly, just like the one I have from Murphy123. I know he stopped doing all this phone stuff. He deleted his channel, but we still remember you, bro. We miss you. But yeah, a Galaxy S5. You think it's running? Yep, Marshmallow. And yeah, it's, I like it. I'm glad to have another one in the collection, especially because it's just a phone I really like. This is also in remarkable condition. As you can probably tell, the USB cover is still there, which is unheard of. Those things fall off really easily, and I can attest to that. I almost broke it off accidentally, and the frame is, like, not dinged at all. Whoever owned this must have taken pretty good care of it. Not excellent care, considering the screen protector's cracked, but they did a decent job. But, yeah, that's all for this video, though. I have no idea when I'll be wanting to make another one because my bin finds are just in inconsistent and not very good lately. But alas, it's just kind of part of how the hobby is. That's just, you know, it's unpredictable, and that's what makes it fun. But yeah, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed.